week's episode of The Better Half. I'm Kendra D. St. Alban, and this is Katie Hartley. And this week, we decided to take the show on the road. As you can see by the backdrop, we are out at the Waste Management Phoenix Open with the 18th Fairway right behind us. And Kendra, the Phoenix Open isn't the only thing going on this week. The Super Bowl is this weekend. We'll see the New England Patriots take on the New York Giants. Kendra, let's get right into it. Give us your score prediction, who you think is going to win, and the key to the game. I'm going with Giants, 34-28 over the Patriots. The Giants have had the Patriots number. I'm sticking with them. I know it's tough to beat a team three times, but they also beat them the other Super Bowl, 30 or 42. So I'm going with the Giants, and I think the key to the game is going to be the Giants' pass rush. If they can get to Tom Brady, force him to be able to not do that slide step before he throws the ball, they can get to him. I think they're going to win this game, and they're going to force Tom Brady to make some mistakes. Well, Kendra, your score prediction is right, but the team you think is win, you're, they, I'm sorry, you're wrong. I think it's going to be the Patriots. It's 34-28. Tom Brady is going to throw a bomb in the fourth quarter and win it for New England. I think this game is going to come down to defense. We're watching two of the league's worst defenses go at it this weekend. However, I think it's going to be who can force the most turnovers, and uh, we'll see who's got the better defense. Well, and I also did see a tweet this morning from Rachel Nichols saying that the Giants, some illness going around, trying to keep it out of the locker room. So if they get the flu bug, that could make a big difference. We'll see. And Eli Manning, not the only only Manning brother making some noise this week. Peyton Manning taking NFL Media Day to sit down and do an interview about what's going on with him. Kendra, do you think uh, Peyton's stealing Eli's thunder? Well, maybe a little bit, but what I did like about it is, first of all, Peyton Manning knew it was going to be discussed. So he's like, hey, let's get this out of the way early in the week. It is you know, that was early in the week. We're only in the middle of the week now, so at least it's not stealing the thunder like later in the week when we're really getting into the Super Bowl discussion. Eli is probably happy that the attention is kind of taken off him. He can just focus on the game and not focus on all the other junk. Well, I say shame on Peyton. You couldn't have waited another week. Like, what is your problem? Let Eli have the spotlight, even though I hate him. I, I don't <laughs> like it. It doesn't help that the at Super all. Bowl is in Indianapolis. I mean, if it wasn't there well, in right. Peyton Manning's backyard, it probably wouldn't be a big deal. I would have liked to have seen Peyton just maybe hold off until next week let Eli enjoy the spotlight hopefully this is the last time we'll ever see him play in a Super Bowl yeah and it's just we just wanted to see if he could actually turn his neck that was really the <laughs> issue I think with the video so. Twitter also so. blowing up with some NBA news this weekend we saw Blake Griffin go crazy over Kendrick Perkins but that brings to the table the discussion of whose dunk was better this week LeBron or Blake Griffin so let's take a look at both dunks Physical game. Oh, oh, a monster jam by Blake Griffin. And a different way to score coming off baseline strength. Oh, he does it again. It was a dunkathon Friday night. They're starting it again here this afternoon. That was a look at both dunks, Kendra. What do you think, LeBron or Blake Griffin? Absolutely, Blake Griffin over Kendrick Perkins. Are you kidding me? Kendrick Perkins is 6'10". John Lucas for the Bulls is 5'11". LeBron's was an alley-oop. I'm going Blake Griffin over Kendrick Perkins all the way. I agree with you, Kendra. I don't even think LeBron's was like an actual dunk. I mean, it was cute and everything, but Blake Griffin went Post you just call LeBron James dog cute. I don't even know. If, that's like an oxymoron. I think but. it's cute. But Blake Griffin's was nasty. I love seeing him just, I mean, he used Kendrick Perkins as a springboard. And at least LeBron acknowledged it on Twitter. I mean, he basically said, oh, it looks like I'm number two. He got bumped out of there pretty fast. Uh -huh. Well, we got to get out of here, Kendra. But listen, what? why do you come to the Phoenix Open? I actually do enjoy golf. I do golf myself, so I love coming for the golf. But the best part about it is you get to watch golf and these golfers in an atmosphere that they're totally not used to. And the people watching isn't bad. We just saw the Snowbar Girls. It's a pretty <laughs> sweet spandex silver outfit, so that's always fun too. Well, Kendra, I know nothing about golf. I just come here for the party, so I'm going to go have a good time. We'll be back next week for another episode of The Better Half. Until then, you can follow her on Twitter at Kendra620. You can follow me at FunKatie620, and we'll see you next week for another episode of The Better Half.